Hi, I'm Ben Wadilla with Poppin Mechanics. Today on Saturday Mechanic, I'm going to be pulling out the old radio on my car and putting in something a little bit more modern, something with a CD player. Before you even get started tearing apart the inside of your car, you want to make sure to buy the right radio. These radios come in a size called DIN, D-I-N, which is a German national standard that's pretty widely used throughout the automotive industry. Brand spanking new cars are kind of going away from them, but older cars like this one still use them. They are about two inches by seven inches wide for the standard single DIN or double DINs are four inches by seven inches. So buy the right radio and then you can get started installing it in your car. We're gonna just jump right in and get to it. To do this job, you only need one tool really, and it's these guys, these radio removal tools. It basically fits into the radio. The front here has a little slot, and they fit in there. What it does is it releases a little tang inside that's holding the radio in. You can get them at auto parts stores. I don't even buy them. I just made a tool. I just took a hammer and smashed a piece of wire thin. It does the same job. You can probably make it with junk you have in your garage. All cars are gonna be a little different. This one you start by opening the ashtray and this piece of trim pops right out. Set that aside for later. I'm gonna grab my handy dandy homemade tool and release the radio. Just slide in the slot. You should be able to feel it release. There we go. And the other side. And it pulls right out. Comes out just like that. Now we're gonna start I'm plugging things. We'll take the antenna off first so we can rotate it, get two things a little bit easier. These are quick disconnects on the back. The way that you get these off is most of them have like a little lever or button. This one has them right here. So you just pull like that and all of these come off. But some are gonna be easier than others. There we go. So now you can set this aside. I don't know what you'll do with it. Maybe recycle it or just store it on your shelf. For this new radio to work, we have to put in an adapter. This is a single DIN adapter. It basically just slides right in place. And what this is used for basically is we're retrofitting a new radio in an older car need to have this in so that the new radio can lock in place. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this piece, which is the Sound Cafe Universal Radio Replacement Box. Basically you buy these pieces and they adapt the plugs that came with the car to a standard that this radio can run off of. So all these little plugs are in here. They'll plug up to the various pieces on this and it'll translate the signal coming out of here to something that this radio can use and then output it to the speakers. So we'll plug these in. Hopefully I'm plugging the right ones in the right holes. Hmm. There we go. All right, so let's just talk real quick a minute about this box. If you don't have one of these, you're gonna be sitting here splicing wire for a while and you're gonna have to cut into the wiring harness, which is not real good to do. Uh, especially if you ever want to put it back to stock and sell it that way. So I recommend buying one of these and, and you can get them model specific for every car or every brand and it saves a lot of time and a lot of headache. So it's totally worth it. So we've got this box hooked up and the last thing that we're going to need to do before we put it all together is plug in the antenna. This is an Audi specific plug, but then we bought an adapter that plugs in like that and then into the radio and we should be good. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to turn the car on and make sure that it actually works. So let's uh, turn it on to accessory real quick. It works. So now we can slide everything back together. 
So we'll hide this box back in the dash. Tuck all these wires in. And this, make sure you get it up the right side up too, because that would be pretty fun. So we'll slide in, and eventually you'll hear it click. Oh, there, just like that. Now we've got this adapter plate for the face of it, because if we put this on, we have a big hole. Uh, so this plate comes with the kit for this car specifically, and that just snaps in just like that. Now we'll put our face plate back on, and the job's done. Please, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments section below. Thank <laughs> you.